Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. Welcome back to Frontline Rejects. Before we get started today, we'd appreciate it if you could help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button and by dropping a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to reach out to us directly, send us an email at frontlinerejects at gmail.com. The round we'll be testing today is Norma's 180 grain Bond Strike. This is an electrochemically bonded bullet from our fine finished friends. We've got it loaded up to a smidge over 3,100 feet per second in our 300 Win Mag, which is a Begara B14 HMR. To be very clear, we aren't sponsored by Norma, but Norma, if you're watching, we're very excited to see how this round performs. So let's get started. Another uh, gorgeous day for some uh, expansion testing, huh? Oh, absolutely. Couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah. Although I think we came out here at the right time. Yeah, kind of different coming out in the afternoon. I like it. Yeah, me too. Wow. Is that pretty impressive? Yeah, good shooting, Tex. Yeah. Do it for Dale, broski. Do it for Dale. Ugh. This is actually for Carlos. Yeah? Yeah. You hear about J-Lo and Ben Affleck? They break up again? No, man, they're trying to sell their mansion, you know? Oh. I guess they're about to like sell it for like 55 million and then the sale like fell through. Wait, they still have property together? Yeah, for whatever reason. Uh. At least that's what the headline on, I think it was like Teen Vogue said, you know, I mean, they'd never lie. Yeah. I hope they sell it for more. She deserves more. Oh, absolutely. She's an angel. Jenny filmed the block. Do you know J Lo is from the block? Dude, I didn't for real. Yeah. Why they call her Jenny from the block. Wow. News to me. That's earth shattering. You going for what? The uh, right jugs? Yep. All right, spotter's on. All right. Well, you, you feel a little rain coming in? Yeah, man. Might be about to start missing. Ah. A little sprinkle. Yep. I'm liking Norma. Yeah, I like, oh, freaking love Norma. More and more, man. Every time we shoot their stuff, I'm like, why don't I just shoot Norma? Yeah, no, I love their 5.56 five, too. Woo. That was a good shot, man. Yeah, it looked good. The sun's coming out now. Oh yeah, dude, it feels beautiful. You feel like spring is actually finally here. <laughs> Maybe. So Washington changes the It's gonna get crapped on with snow tomorrow. That was a solid hit, dude. Nice. Let's go home. Now that we're done shooting, we'll take a look at our results, and here we have all five recovered projectiles, and by viewer request, you'll notice we've now incorporated the estimated impact velocity below each image. The impact velocity was calculated based off of our muzzle velocity of just over 3100 feet per second using JDM ballistic calculator. Looking at the 100, we have just absolutely incredible expansion. The bullet peeled back on all sides past the base with the pedals extending down to the very bottom of the shank. At the 200, we've got similar results. Incredible expansion with the round peeling back on all sides past the base of the bullet. The 300 is almost the same, although at this range, expansion ends at the bottom of the round rather than below it. This is carried forward at the 400. Still a massive amount of expansion, 
very even, and although the expansion is ending markedly higher up the shank, still an extremely impressive result for 400 yards. 500 is of course our final range, and at this range, mushrooming ends about halfway down the shank. We can see pretty clearly that as velocity goes down, so does expansion. Moving on to our graphs, here we have some pretty fantastic numbers, 3.4, almost 3.5 times expansion at 100 yards. At 200, we dip just below 3 times original size, and expansion decreases at each range proportionally past that. This gives us an average expansion of 2.83, which is outstanding. Average weight retention is 82%, which I'm perfectly happy with for any bonded core bullet. But what I really find cool is how, for weight, we have this climb at each range, which consistently maintains incrementally more more weight, same as we lost expansion at each further range. This speaks to just how well made this bullet is. The amount of time and effort that went into the engineering for the profile and metallurgy is clearly apparent. I think outside of a monolithic bullet, this is the most consistent bullet we've ever tested. Certainly, the most consistent lead core bullet. You'd expect as you get further from a target, the round would expand less and in doing so theoretically lose less weight. And the bond strike does exactly that. There aren't any crazy outliers. We don't have a roller coaster for our graph, just even clean data points. Not only does this showcase Norma's design strengths, but it also highlights their manufacturing quality. When you pick out a bullet for hunting, this is what you should expect. In my opinion, the bond strike sets the standard for what a bonded core bullet should do. We will probably be judging most bonded core bullets we shoot here on the channel against this benchmark in the future. At time of filming, we have also completed testing on 30 cal 200 grain acubons and terminal ascents, and for overall expansion and weight retention, the bond strike has them both cleanly beat. Now to be fair, this is a 180 grain bullet and those were 200s, so maybe the extra velocity propelled the bond strike to victory, but we'll have to table that for testing another day. What's also impressive is the 180 bond strike has a higher ballistic coefficient than any grain weight the Acubond or TA in 30 cal comes offered in. This would in theory help make it a superior choice for longer range hunting, and I think at longer range it would retain its wider expansion figures better than either the Acubomb or Terminal Ascent, but that's a subject that will require future testing. Now I've been Norma curious for quite a while, and recently we've tested a few offerings from their lineup, and each time we've been extremely impressed. The Oryx and Alaska Bullets are solid performers, and now having ran the Bond Strikes, I gotta say I'm becoming a bit of a fanboy. Really, I don't think we've ran into any bullets from them that we don't like. At this moment, I've got some 170 grain tip strikes loaded up in 30-06 for testing in the near future, and we'll be doing 5 cartridge reviews on most of Norma's lineup. In the meantime, if you're looking for a high quality bonded core bullet that's accurate and reliable, I would strongly recommend taking a hard look at the Bond Strike. If you got something out of today's content, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.